This week in the shop, Tyson replaces seriously worn out suspension components for a budget lift. If you like the results as much as he did, we'll post the part numbers in the description and in the video so you can do the same. Okay, start by loosening these top hat bolts. Just takes time. Leave one on there so it doesn't all explode. Fingy type. what the internet says to do. The internet's never wrong. Huzzah! Yes. Despoiled the war. Look at that. Gross. Gross.
I hate this part. Anticlimactic. Cut your tails. That's about 20 pound feet. Last I checked. Okay. Side comparison, see relatively the same. Where the spring perch is, is much higher on the Billy Stein. Little different up there. So, little lift. The first one went so smooth, this next one will be way easier, I bet. Do not, I repeat, do not use an impact on these. Don't do that. Torque them to whatever. You don't come here for tips. Last, but not least, is this guy. Can't get a freaking socket on it. Arr, torque. Arr, click. And arr, click. Come on. Yeah, baby. Ladies and germs, so I got a rear spring out. These are the progressive rate Dobinsons that I got to replace them. And it was a bit of a pain to get everything out because there's only so much bouncy bounce. Um, so I'm gonna try to have a good time putting these in. Um, probably more fun going in than coming out. So we'll see how that goes. All right, viewers. Sorry for the lull, but I had to get creative. So I didn't have any way to get the springs out without a bunch of trouble. So, 
I got creative. And I'm going to do this, but I don't condone it. Not liable for your health or safety. Okay? Do not try this at home. Do not try this anywhere. This is dumb. Get the right tool. I don't have the right tool, and this is my ride home, so I'm kind of stuck. Okay, friends. Both the springs are in. My spring compressors work to treat. I did not film putting them in, in action for liability reasons. These are, these are just props. Okay, and shit. Double chip. Oh. These are all special effects. There is no tension on those. It's all just for joke. Joke stuff. Ha 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 ha. Super cool. <clears throat> Iconic. Icon, great, wonderful, thank you. Scan here, no way. Not today, government. So, much, much back and forth on the rear damper setup. Ended up on the icons, cause that's what was available. There's the old fellers. There. Oh, quite a bit taller. Three, four inches, that's pretty cool. And they have these neat notches for your uh, wrench instead of grabbing it because this shit's always rusty. Okay. Let's get them put on. Now this is gonna go super easy, I bet. Super easy. Man. <sighs> Toyota, what the fuck were you thinking? Putting this shit here. No access panel above. Absolutely maddening. Maybe. I need mean, that up will help, huh? Maybe. Torque them. Does that make a difference? Womp, womp, womp. It does make a difference. Torque until the bolt breaks. Then back off a quarter turn. Now we're at 37 or it will 
was 33 and a shake. And the rear was 36. We're now at 39 and a quarter. Okay. The front came up more than the rear, but it really doesn't look like it. I'm not even going to show you because I'm going to wait for the surprise.